Were either of you intimidated by taking on such iconic roles? And was being a parent a factor in your decisions to take on the roles, and why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, there's a lot of intimidation when you play any role, <laughs> especially when they are so iconic as, as uh, in my case, King Triton. But uh, you want to just go there and give your little taste into it, and knowing that in a humble way you're gonna bring what it is, whatever that is, but it, that is yours. And, and on top of that, you are protected by the talent and the very good decision of Rob Marshall and John DeLuca, who are going to help you to get there. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I mean, incredibly intimidating. You're walking into something that's so established and, and beloved by people that I've watched nine million times myself. Yeah. Um, I feel completely intimidated. You're walking into something that is already known to millions, beloved by so many, uh, including myself. And I think at a certain point you just have to let it go and be like, I'm going to I'm going to bring everything I can to it. And then, yeah, like H Javier said, you're I mean, the safety net is John and Rob and all of these incredibly talented people that are there to help and improve and, and get you to just the right place where you want to be. And that whole team that they put together, every single person, the dancers, the choreographers, stunts, amazing, you know, Colleen Atwood. It's it just yeah. all, it all works together and suddenly this like beautiful project just appears. So much work and effort, but also such a joy. What are the most important messages audiences will take away from the film? I think, I think, I think one of the, I mean, there are many, they will, they will have a lot of joy. They will experience a lot of love because there's a lot of love in this movie in, the, in, in many ways, in the singing, in the choreography, in the photography, in the performances, in, in the lyrics. Um, but I would say they will bring a good, they will come out with a good idea of what true love is, meaning uh, if you love someone, you have to let that person be become what she or he wants. Uh, besides your own desires or wishes, because that's what life is about, about respecting each other's. Thank I would say that won't. Well, no, yeah, uh, and I agree, there's lots, I think so many people will take away so many different things, and I, I think you always take away maybe what you need that day, mm -hmm. and there's so much of it in this movie for people. I also think, I mean, something that's so relevant now is that when you when you look at something or someone that you don't know, that you don't have to fear it. You don't have to be afraid of it. You can be curious about it. You can you can say how wonderful, like look at how different we are and and learn from it and, and find all these new wonderful things. And I think that is a, a huge thing that the world needs right now. Why would Rob Marshall be ideal director to bring the story to the big screen? Wow. I mean. I can't imagine anybody else doing it. I, I, told, I, I cannot, I can't even fathom it. Because they both are choreographers. They have the music, the rhythm, the beats inside of them. They are great directors. They know how to treat an actor. They are, their directions are so spot on. But this movie need, need a huge choreography for us to be able to move and to dance with each other under the water in every moment. And they knew how to do that like, like that easy. And it's all in this like, soft, loving little cushion. It's like yes. Rob Marshall and John come in and it literally is just like, everything suddenly is like, oh, it's gonna be fine. Yes. This is gonna be lovely. Like, is it a long day of rehearsals? But you're like, but it's so fun. And mm. they have all these incredible people supporting you and their ideas are so good. And they've prepared and thought everything wow. through and at the same time are still John and Rob are both so completely always open to a new idea. Or what if this happens? And they're like, yes, what if? Let's let's look at that. It's just possibly the best work environment. I mean, I want the world to work like they're set. Absolutely. Can you talk about the unique rehearsal process on this film? Well, uh, rehearsing in movies is very, is very strange because there's no, most of the time there's no, no rehearsal. None. And in this case, we spend a lot of time knowing each other, knowing our colleagues, our partners, and creating a, a bond, a relationship uh, that it will be translated when we play with each other. And that's, that's the common ground where 
every rehearsal must stand on to create a bond between the partners, the people that you work with, and it happened. Yeah, it's it's such a it is such a rarity and such a uh, oh my gosh, I, I don't know. I can't even explain how important it was that we got to do all of that rehearsal. And I think because they come from the theater and they're right. they're originally performers themselves and taking that time to know how important that is to get to build it and build it together as a company and not just all individuals coming in to do what they do. We were coming in to all put our heads together and make this one piece. And, and I think, I mean, I really felt the difference from yeah. that. Absolutely. 